Everyone crying over Matt leaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. And welcome to GT Not Live, my one and only channel. <laughs> my Woo! one and only yeah! channel. Woo! Ash behind the camera. Woo! Woo! This is it, baby. Oh, Last yeah. one standing. Hey, oh, and welcome to the oh. dawn of a new day. That was a great, that was a great high five. That was a really good one because it's a great day. It is a great day. <laughs> I feel the weight of the world slowly dripping off my shoulders. Oh, wow. Yeah. I am now officially yeah. retired from four out of five channels. <laughs> which and really, <laughs> retiring from, from the, you're not, you're not going to stop theorizing, but like retired from being the one to make the theories all the time. Right, thing. exactly. Yes, yeah, that, no, that. I'm, I'm still, I'm still reading the scripts and, and advising the, yeah. the new creative directors. I'm, I'm going to pop in on the occasional notes for videos and stuff. I know, you know. I no longer have to carry recording equipment with me on vacation. There's no more weekends where I'm like, hey, Steph, I need to pop upstairs for a couple hours or like, oh, this is all fun. But like tonight, I really have to record. OK, but true story. He faked me out by saying those things a couple of times this weekend just to like see if I would believe him. And there was a part of my brain that did my like the back of my lizard brain was like, yeah, that makes sense. It's true. I'm, and then I'm I would like, be like, wait, what? What is he talking about? And he was like trolling yeah, me. He was true. trolling me <laughs> like, you know, take the moment when, you know, poor Ollie's having a tough time or he's being just kind of a jerk and he's and Matthew's like can you take him for a couple hours I gotta go record and I'm like what what no and yeah then, and that's no. like no I'm here no. I'm there I'm ready to go man he's here he's there he's everywhere who are you gonna call for on the theory channels he's not there anymore. yeah actually I, I'm, I'm in fewer places now <laughs> yeah. he's there he's not there he's he's not everywhere anymore who are you gonna call I'm still here though but you're still here here yep I'm here. still here here. Here, here. Uh -huh. Hi, hello, welcome to a new age in the Matt Pat narrative arc, aka uh, retirement era. How you feel? Great, <laughs> great. I like so today. Hey, today we're doing a meme review of basically everything that happened over this weekend, over the last last week or so, uh, as we kind of rounded out my final episodes on. Film, game, style, and food theories. Just um, unpack a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Un unpack a little bit. There's been a lot of videos submitted. There's been a lot of memes done. There's been a lot of, you know, a lot of images of Scott Cawthon circulating. <laughs> many, many. More than you, probably. <laughs> no, I, that's the thing, right? <laughs> it's it's funny. There was a, there was a I, I saw a tweet from, I think it was Johnny Blocks or whatever, that's like, Matt Pet has uploaded his final video starring Scott Cawthon yeah, exactly. or something like that. Exactly. <laughs> it's not like, yeah, Matthew's last video, it's Scott's first video <laughs> is actually the way that this is built. Well, you know, every every ending is a new beginning. Oh, and so, welcome to YouTube, Scott Cawthon. <laughs> right, maybe maybe I should reach out to Scott and be like, hey, like I know we, we put this Tom guy in place, but... You, you clearly know. have a future here. Clear, clearly. In, in between we, all the movies and books. You know, Steph, I, I know you're excited to be on the couch every once in a while, well, but maybe maybe it's Scott and I. Maybe it's this, the the yeah. Scott and Matt Power Hour. Dude. Oh man. That would be. <laughs> that would actually be incredible. That'd be wild. <laughs> we just. That would be wild. We just talk deep minutia of FNAF lore the entire time. Here's the thing. Or I, whatever. Uh, like, yeah. Like hey Scott, have you maybe, played Undertale recently? I, I was gonna say maybe you don't. Maybe you talk about other games. <laughs> actually, one of the things <laughs> That's that so I. Amazing. <gasps> tell me, tell me your thoughts on Garten of Ban Ban, Scott. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, have him have him talk about all the other all the other indie horror games and and just and critic and you know be a critic for them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, I wonder. I He'd wonder. be like, yeah, but there was no bite that happened sometime <laughs> in the eighties. <80s. laughs> was, was that the bite of Ban Ban? <laughs> um, oh, that would be fun. He's like, oh, the lore makes too much sense. <laughs> Like, oh, there, there's too much that makes sense in the lore. Oh, that would be so funny. Where's my ambiguity? That would be so great. <laughs> if, if Scott, that would just be funny. I'd like, two, two little buddies. We'd be like little Gregory, Robot Gregory, and Glamrock Freddy hitting the road 
on tour, Scott and Matt on tour. That'd be amazing. That's <laughs> take it on the sh- take it on the road. Um, yeah. So today is a, is a meme review. We thought it would be appropriate for Steph to join today because you know this is also a big transition moment for you. Which I, I think if you want to speak to that a little bit, I think that would be awesome because. Well, everyone can kind of understand. understand. I I'm really so love fine. your little dance. It's awesome. I think while everyone can can understand what it means for me, right? Which is like, hey, I am doing an incredible amount of work with all of these scripts that are coming in and all these recordings that are coming in and all this other stuff in addition to the day job. And I, and I think it is hard to properly communicate how intense the day job is at this point where it literally is like from like eight to five, eight to six, eight to seven. Like, I mean, it is giant blocks of like 12 hours plus booked solidly. The most meetings. The, <laughs> meetings, you know, talking to people, edits, recordings, yeah. you know, with with style and food theory, having more live action shoots over the last year. It was a lot of, it was a lot of live action recordings. And we like doing those. Oh, that, super that's fun. Thing. Those are really fun, but there's, we got to, I think, maybe like a little bit of a too much of a good thing kind of kind of thing where there was just no way to get everything done and do those mm-hmm. long blocks of recording yeah. of, of like filming. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's one of those things where because of all of that, you know, there it the, the scripts were always kind of like having to be squeezed in and like finding places to do it. And the it recordings, was, forget about the recordings. It. Yeah. The recordings <laughs> were like, oh, you, you're supposed to do those during like daylight hours? No. No. You're supposed to do that during working hours? No. I mean, like, no, legitimately. That microphone has never seen the light of day, not for years. No. Like, I've, I, I mean, the time I was up here, and I've said this, but like, again, to reiterate, it's like my recording sessions would start at like 10 p.m. and would go until like 2 a.m. And, yeah. you know, that, and that was usually depend. I, I would just pass out. <laughs> I'd be like, and I'm done. Um, you know, and, and that would be, that would be Friday and then Saturday and then Sunday. And then that was, that was kind of it. Right. And so, no, there's, there's a big sense of relief. Or you get up at 4 a.m. Or, that. That's yeah, the other thing. towards the end, it was like, I can't stay up late anymore. I need to yeah. wake up early because I'm just so tired. And so I would wake up at 4 in order to get like an hour of uninterrupted scripting time. Yeah. Or like an hour to two hours of uninterrupted scripting time. And before then, Ali got up. Yeah, before Ali got up. And then I'd be like, hi, I got most <laughs> of it recorded. before, And then I'd hear like, daddy, I'm like, ah, run down. And there yeah. we go. No, so... So that's so. I mean, for me, huge, huge difference, and it's it's this new lighter life for me. But what about what about you, Steph? It is also a significantly lighter life for me. It makes it makes a big difference. So, and there's there's the direct stuff. Like there were lots of times. I don't want to take anything. There's there's nothing to be taken away from you or the creative directors. But there have been lots and lots of times, especially in the last year, where there's no physical way that Matthew can complete all the scripts by himself. There's just no hours left and so either he gets to like 11 30 at night or 12 30 or 1 30 or whatever and he's like i don't know how to fix this script or i there's something needs to happen with this script but i cannot figure it out and so just having another person to step in with like logical thinking in a brain but but like being there <laughs> in a brain but so directly working on the scripts directly editing the scripts directly helping to fix scripts or ideas or whatever, that's become a bigger part of this last year for me personally. And I really like doing scripts, but the when scripts get done is literally the middle of the night. And so it's pretty taxing in terms of hours. Then I have, you know, a, a, a full, at least one full-time job when it comes to <laughs> the, everything else that still happens in the company, running everything, um, helping everybody with various projects along the way. but those big shooting blocks, which were really fun, still took up lots of times that I had to be scheduled over or around meetings, over or around stuff that I was supposed to be doing or emails that I was supposed to be getting back to. I can't tell you how bad I've been at like answering emails in a timely way, fixing problems, that kind of stuff. So that's a big difference. And Mm -hmm. then like emotionally and personally also, if your partner and the person who you'd like to spend time with in off hours, is also trading off time with you that whole time, you never actually see them. So like if Matthew's working from 10 
to two, we'd like we'd be like, oh yeah, we're gonna watch a RuPaul's Drag Race from like nine to ten, and then he's gonna go record. But he's falling asleep at nine thirty because he's so tired that he can't stay awake. And then I have to like wake you up mm -hmm. to be like, Matthew, I'm so sorry. I don't want to wake you up right now, but I know that you wanted to get this recording done, and that you're gonna, you know, the whole the whole system fails mm -hmm. if you don't. And so, and I can't do that for him, right? Like I can't record the videos for him. So it's one of those things where. It, it, it cascades into like yeah. all areas of Big our life effects. going to you know going to sleep alone <laughs> or waking up alone almost all the time and then on weekends being like okay how do we work every single weekend activity we've ever done for the last several years around making sure that the videos get yeah, recorded we, yeah, we thread it it's through. just like threading it through so long story short yeah it makes a huge difference to me directly indirectly all the things i'm so excited yeah. i'm so excited oh, oh that, that was, that was, that was less good that was still oh bad God. yeah okay we did hey <laughs> we, we did something no and and last thing is the which i see is how flexible you've had to be because like you said you have all these responsibilities but because mine are always on this ticking clock oh yeah that, we're shucking and jiving around yeah <laughs> that cascades down into editors the channel managers and everyone out like because i am this big wall and it cascades into everyone else my deadlines were always the hardest and the firmest yeah. and it's which like, meant okay. that you had to be like if if all of a sudden it's like whoa this script needs to be completely rewritten or like uh oh this is gonna take four hours instead of two hours it doesn't matter if we're on vacation it doesn't matter anything else mm -hmm. like that just has to happen and so there have been a lot of vacation days where i'm i'm a bit of a planner matthew can tell you I may or may not if plan our vacations down to like the 15 minute increments of every single day. I was gonna say, if there's anyone who's more type A than I am, it's definitely you. Especially for, for different things. We're, we're, we're really uptight about different things. But, yeah. but there have been a lot of vacation days, right, where I'm like, okay, I got this schedule, roll out. And Matthew's like, well, actually, <laughs> but, but actually, then actually um, I have like four hours of working on this script and then I have to record it. And I'm like, yeah, so <gasps> well, and, and, and to be fair, and again, like I tried to push it off to the edges oh, of yeah. like the morning and the evening no, so that Matthew's, way it didn't interrupt anything in the middle. But Matthew yeah. is always in heroic with doing stuff in the middle of the night so that it wouldn't affect things like that. But there's only so much you can do. There is some point at which yeah. like your brain shuts down and you just you have to like get some sleep. So yeah. I'm so happy for you. Thank I'm you. so thrilled thrilled for you I'm I'm happy for us and it's a uh, it's a brand new day and all your focus all of it can go on to GT live right that's it <laughs> focus on GT live yeah. to the moon exactly. right now at this point of uh, fun fact uh, my first ever game of retirement five nights at Freddy's ruin security <laughs> breach ruin I woke up Sunday morning after the so the whole team came over on Saturday we all had a big old celebration uh, we all cried a whole bunch oh yeah ash wept rider wept mm -hmm. i hyperventilated which i i didn't expect because i had watched the video so many times and i'd i had said goodbye in my head so many times at yeah, that point right. i had had so many emotions up to that point i thought that was more of me watching it to just be a part of the event like obviously i wanted to watch it right. as it went live and we'd all seen it chat. like eight there yeah. were like eight versions of that video because we had like you know to update the editing and stuff we had all watched that thing Many times, but maybe man. maybe not Ash. Maybe you were spared from like versions four through seven. I was spared, but a lot of those takes I did like seven times. Right. Yeah. So I knew a lot of the main story beats, but seeing them all yeah, together, together, oh, it got me hard. Yeah. It really got me. Yeah. Well, and yeah, and it was one of those where I'm watching it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Well, I'll do, like I had to breathe through my emotions, which is the first time I've ever had to. Like I, I feel my emotions very viscerally, and I'm very good at handling my emotions. I feel like I'm very in touch with my emotions. That was the first time that I'm like, oh, this is what it means to be like overwhelmed with emotion. Like not just like weeping and sad, but like a actually having to physically breathe through the emotions as they're swelling through you. Crazy. And then I hear like Ash sniffling beside me, and Ryder's oh, eyes Ryder's are glistening. Oh, he and I were going through yeah. it. We had a big hug afterward oh, he and I, I yeah I know. it was really sweet so, yeah. so that was that so then I wake up Sunday morning being like ah oh, 
good. And I, I woke up at 7.30, which was very exciting. New and then I realized- New record sleeping in this year. <laughs> new record sleeping in, except not, because it just meant that the clock sprung forward. It was actually 6.30. So it was the exact same time that I wake up every day, but it felt like I had slept in. So that was exciting. I'm like, oh, whoa, look at it. It's light outside. I slept in, not at all. And Ollie's like, hey, dad, let's play a game. And I'm like, yeah, let's play a video game, bot. I'm so excited to do it, like slug day together. And he's like, can you play Five Nights at Freddy's Ruin? I'm like, sure, bud. Yep, we can do that. So anyway, uh, let's enough about us though. Let's let's roll into the memes. I the, know, the it's fresh, not even like jeez. I know it's it's witty banter. No and one wants it's, to hear that. Uh, the fresh, the fresh, the fresh and hot memes um, <laughs> over on the Game Theory <laughs> subreddit. <laughs> and uh, real, so let's see, should I scroll, Ash, or should I, do you, I see you have a bunch pulled up. Yeah, so head over to that second tab, head this over to that first tab, tab, so we can come back and revisit. Oh, okay, we'll, okay. Okay, we'll, we'll revisit come back to that one and scroll. So okay. the first tab is actually the last tab. Yes. Great, awesome, Pff, nice. Uh, <laughs> okay, caption this is by <laughs> UTV4RGVTB24. See, what I see this as is your mom telling a really embarrassing story about you to like in front of your friends or relatives where he's like, and then he put on the footy pajamas and he was so cute. And you're just standing there and you're like, oh, you're just like wanting to die. <laughs> right. Jason looks like he really wants the earth to just swallow him right. up. Oh, at least like, why did I do this? Why am I here? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's great. What a, what a great, <laughs> it's like I was not prepared for this right? at all. No, and actually Jason makes sure that if he's going to appear on camera, he is ready for it. He's just he's just there standing about, like standing there thinking about how his hair doesn't look right. When your friend is in phone dumping and you have no idea how to contribute to the conversation, just, yes. I am the friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Jason is a master of infiltration. He could be in your walls right now. <laughs> that right there. He just that's, fades in. That's the face of infiltration. There it is. <laughs> the face of pure stealth. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, anyone else? Okay, when your friend introduces you to practically everyone at the party and you have no <laughs> desire to be there. That's accurate. Yeah. I am here out of Hi. obligation alone. Hi. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> there were some good meme formats, I feel like, that came out, which is a only lot. fitting. A lot. Which I'm very happy about. Like, that was... N not necessarily the express intent of things, but also you always think about like, oh, I hope that people like these moments. Or I, I hope that people say, respond to these you, moments. You like thought you were gonna leave a philosophical mark on YouTube. Oh. No, you actually just left a, a memeable mark on YouTube. Oh no, I, I feel like the I feel like the entire last message of the episode completely, <laughs> completely steamrolled Fine. for Skull Golden. <laughs> oh my God, Skull! Mikey, that was Freddy. This is Daco's gonna incorporate this into the canon. This this one? Yeah. Uh, this is from Funbid4717, or actually this, this is, is technically- Actually, yeah. Go this ahead. is technically from Nicole, yeah. who's our uh, graphic artist, who's unbelievable and fantastic. And probably, talented. I, I don't know how quickly she was able to whip this together. <laughs> I would say she probably drew this in like five minutes. Like, she's just so fast and so talented at just, you know, whipping, whipping up anything the that comes to I mind. The more I look at this, the more unsettled I am. <laughs> Yeah, tell, tell me your thoughts, Stephanie. I just, the more I look at it, the more, the more I recognize the unbelief, the mastery in her jamming your faces so close together, the wrinkle in your, the wrinkle line in your face where Freddy's snout has physically like pushed the skin back because he's jammed so far into your mouth. That's the bite of 87 right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bite. And your, your neck is like scrunched. Oh. oh yeah, the whole thing. Oh no, I mean it's a passionate, <laughs> it's a passionate kiss. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy is nothing but passionate. Oh. Oh, your your hand sort of being <laughs> on here. I gotta, well, I gotta guide him. It's a very, it's a very romantic kiss. Oh, man. You know, we've we've had a very special relationship over the years. I you know? bet you have, my friend. <laughs> That's an open mouth kiss too. Oh, I mean, like to be. There's no way you're welcome. To no, there. that 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 animatronic tongue is in. Tongue is strongly implied. <laughs> <laughs> tongue is strongly implied. Oh, 
percent. I love it. So, so true story. This is one of those where, again, like for the chaos ending, we gave people like rough guidelines to, yeah, and, and basically we accepted every idea. And so we wanted, <laughs> uh, we wanted Nicole. We were like, I want you to draw some like crude fan art of of me. Just like doing whatever, right? Like m m mixing it in with another franchise. And I initially thought it was going to be like me and like Pokemon. <laughs> I thought for sure. I thought for sure we were going to wind up with po like censored Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, Freddy Tonsil Hockey. Uh, yeah, Freddy Tonsil. <laughs> and and the, the the rejection of Springtrap, I feel like, is also bears to be mentioned. Like the fact that he's so sad back there. <laughs> to be honest, so sad. Like oh, the, like it's like the distracted boyfriend meme. Like ooh, Freddy. <laughs> and Springtrap's like, what about me? What about me? Right. Poor, f the first time anyone's oh. ever said poor Springtrap. <laughs> That's fair, right? <laughs> uh, but no, and, and also the, the chaos ending, I think was the hardest of endings to edit because we had a, a bunch of footage, but we had to capture like the frenetic pace that we wanted to. And we actually shot them all, most of them as like long continuous shots where like one action led to the next, led to the next, led to the next. And we ended up chopping it up to give it the pacing that we wanted it to and give it the, like, the, again, that sense of chaos that we wanted. Um, everyone had a great time oh with, that, with that shoot, though. And everyone, like, everything you see people do, I think, was contributed by them. Like, yes. it was their idea. Oh, yeah. And so, like, like Lee stealing Josiah's wallet yeah. as he lays there dead yep. or taking the uh, or taking the play button off the wall. That was, yeah. The chase with the heel, the whole thing. Amy, that was all. Amy, Amy's yeah. only request was fire. She yeah. also requested sword, but we're like, well, Dan has sword. Yeah. So... <laughs> Share. <laughs> yeah. She wanted to knock him out with the heel, and we're like, ah, oh, let's let's mix it up a little bit. But yeah, Ash crying in the corner. What's up? The scream. No, your scream. Your scream. Is heard around the world. I thank you. Thank you. Where, where does that come from, Ash? Uh, like the gut. I was gonna say <laughs> the diaphragm. Yeah, the diaphragm. It's, it's a well very, supported it's scream. Very good scream. <laughs> thank you. Uh -huh, Sam and the wordle and stuff. Oh no, it's, it's that solid. was also organic. Yeah, but he uh, actually did get the wordle. He did in two. <laughs> actually, that was a big moment for him. Yeah. Um, but anyway, in in one of the initial edits, this was completely blurred, and I'm like, I I don't understand. Like, as the audience, they're gonna have no clue what they're looking at. You need to showcase this. <laughs> And thus we received this. I was going to say, <laughs> you're welcome. Matthew was the one who uncensored this oh, yeah. video. I'm like, you have to completely <laughs> uncensor this, you know. So anyway, there, <sighs> there's that. The more I look at it, it's just, let's move on. <laughs> I haven't looked at it for the <laughs> long before. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this one. <laughs> He's my son. <laughs> from Nose uh. Cone. Uh, so this is the Matt Patify extension, I guess, added on oh, to this. Yeah. So I am proud and honored to be the uh, new creator, and Ash, you too, the new creator of the latest Scott Cawthon meme. I, we did that. I, I really cannot emphasize enough the emotional whiplash of being like, oh my gosh, this major transition for my friends. I'm so proud. I'm so sad. And then I go on Twitter and everyone's like, Scott can move. And I was like, I did that. That was me. You know, yeah. it's, it's funny that you, you bring that up because I saw that circulating on Twitter too. And it was one of those things where I, when I reached out to Scott and I'm like, hey, I'd love for you to be a part of the final episode in that way. I have this idea of multiple endings and I would love for you to be in one of them. I'm not sure which one, like, I'm not sure as far as like which one will be the one that we tag on to the, the end of the video, but I think it might be yours. And I'm like, hey, I understand that you're, you're private and you don't want to appear on camera. So even if it's a voiceover line or you don't even have to say anything. He was like, so gracious. And yeah, it was, uh, and not only was he like, you know, you're absolutely right, but I feel like this is an important enough and special enough time that I would love to be a part of this. But also, he would follow up in emails being like, I thought of some lines. And I'm like, oh, great. Like, oh, I yeah. didn't anticipate you wanting oh, to speak. Oh, but I was on audio. I was part of that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 No, fun. and, he, he, and he, like, he, he came in costume. He was, I mean, he was so down. And so, again, so gracious. Yeah. It was it, awesome. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was incredible. It was, yeah. it was actually a really fun afternoon. Um, he was very patient with... The, the lighting supply company that we had rented from did not give us the proper stands. And so behind the doors, yeah. you have like Jason and Justin manhandling like the They're, light. It was so Justin janky. Justin was physically holding up a light by himself. 
Yeah. Poor Justin. Did we thank him for that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We thanked everyone and we will continue to thank them. Yeah. But no, it was, and it was kind of weird too because I think Scott, here we roll in with like giant lights and rental <laughs> equipment. Yeah. And he's like, whoa, this is, this is a lot. And I thought it was just going to be on the phone. And we're like, yeah, but we want to make sure that it looks good. Like we want this to be kind of this like big moment. And, and look, it does look good. Good does. enough for the for the rest of the time, to- the rest of history on the internet. Look at him. Yes, look at that he's guy. Done very well. That's the Matt Patify extension, by the way, which was a, a chaotic thing to have popped up on my feed a week before we were really doing like the the live action filming, because because this video was months in the works. You know, like we had to travel to to see Scott. We had we flew in all the creative directors. Back when you saw a lot of them on GT Live, that was around the time that all of them flew in. We flew in Tom for 48 hours just so he could film the final shot. From England. Yeah, yeah. from England. Um, you know, Amy and Santi had more time in their schedule, so they were here the whole week. But like Tom, he was only allowed to be in the country for a, a period of time. And so it's like, this is what we got. Let's get it done. And then literally 48 hours later, turn around and send it back. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was a lot. Um, but then the Pat- Matt Patify extension coming out, it's like, oh. This is a fun thing to just throw in as a final beat. And it, it delivers some gold, I gotta say. I, I like a lot of it. Uh, let's see, Snake9876, Matt Pettis final video. Wait, it's, it's, see, someone got it. Someone paid attention. Wait, it's all game theory. Always has, it has. It's all game theory. It's all game theory. It is, it's all game theory. I feel like as the memes die down and as people discover and appreciate all the endings, they might go back and revisit the actual message and it's like, oh, there, there's, there's some substance here too. It's possible. It's possible, you know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll learn. We'll find out. Uh, let's see. Oh, can we talk about how great this ending was? Math Witty 2864. We can. It was very good. This is the first thing we shot. Thanks for watching. You were very specific about the music, and rightly so. Yeah. About the timing of everything. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I... So, Ryder, longtime friend, uh, Foot of a Ferret. And longtime collaborator. I mean, fierce. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's like... He, he's not full-time for us anymore, but basically... <laughs> but he does a lot of stuff for us still, because he's incredible. I love Ryder. Um... But I reached out to him. I'm like, hey, I, I want you to be the person to... Cre- you've, he's done so many versions of Science Blaster. He did it live as part of the St. Jude streams. Um, he's done so many of the... Th- he didn't do Science Blaster in the, in the early days, but he's done remakes of the song. He's done themes for uh, Food Theory, GT Live. He did one for Style Theory. You know, it's the one that you can kind of like catch around the edges that we use every once in a while. Um, and I'm like, hey, I feel like it, you, you will be able to do this and get this in a way that yeah. I really want this to, to go. And, I, and the, the, what was the thing I told him? I'm like, I want it to feel climactic, victorious. Because a lot of the music beds that, when the edits first came in, were, were sad pianos. Yeah, they were sad. They were sad pianos. Sad and I'm like, I don't, this isn't, yeah, this isn't a sad. They were like, you know, solo piano, sad. Tinkle, ding, 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 yeah. ding, 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 yeah. thin. And I'm like, I don't want, I want it to feel like it needs to build to a climax. And, and I want it to be like triumphant and this like moving onward, like the mission has been completed. Yeah. And, and crushed it. Like he, he did this in, in like record time, um, but did such a good job. And then we were refining the timing and stuff. And I wanted, it's, it's funny how the signature lines of the channel worked so well for a finale like the thanks for watching oh yeah you know i i I forget when it actually struck me as like oh the final line the thanks for watching is a great final line to have and i thought that that was you know i I think emphasizing that with the edit and the way it was shot and stuff was really important but yeah Uh oh i totally agree you did Uh, a great job it's also i i think this is one of those things that i think is worth calling out Technically, my last, that's just the theory of game theory, is I, in the FNAF episode that came before. It's not in the final game theory. Oh, yeah. Which is one of those things that I knew. Again, it's like that dramatic irony of like, I know when things are happening, but the audience, you guys didn't. And so, you know, I, when I said, when I was recording, that's just the theory of uh, game theory in the FNAF episode, the like, thank you, Scott, look at all you've done. 
that I, I I got a little emotional for that because I knew that that was the final time of me saying the like closing phrase. Because also this was um, this this was the thanks for watching was shot earlier. Yeah, it was like already that recorded. So that was the first thing of the fina finale that we shot, which was cool. The fun alley. The fun alley. Ah. Oh, uh huh. It was. That was. It was really fun. That was great. But yeah. But yeah, I, I thought. Yeah, thanks guys. Yeah. And I. Ryder, oh, Matthew, Dan, who who, who edited this piece? Oh, this no. was Dan. Dan. Yeah, Dan edited this one. Ed he went through a lot. Of, Dan. Yeah. Um, and Jason had a really good job of like directing the shot and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, and Ash filmed. And Ash, yeah. It oh was, my god! What a group effort. Oh, that shot. So this part wasn't included in the edit, mm -hmm. but I had to start tracking Matthew while he was technically behind where we had the camera set. Mm -hmm. So it looked like I was starting at Amy and then you know going 90 degrees to the other side of the room. It was more of a 180, mm -hmm. I would even say 200 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big sweep. With how much I had yeah. to go over, oh my gosh. It's a big sweep. I had them redo it like 10 times <laughs> because I was, this shot is so important. I have to get this right. Mm -hmm. And it was so high pressure. And I feel like based on how the video came together, I'm like, okay, we got it. We got it. And, and it's interesting too, because like the whole episode like the whole time we we originally wa were thinking about doing this live the whole thing live and i'm glad that we didn't i'm, I'm glad that ash and justin were like hey we don't think that makes sense and you were absolutely right to make that call i think that was great there was a pro and con of doing it live where like i wanted you guys to be there and be a part of it and like to participate i the, in the one premiere of, was still a very good no no premiere was the, no the premiere was like the best way i think to find the middle ground it also felt more game theory but part of the reason why we wanted to do it in this like full circle motion was because I would leave the couch, and again, the last time I would leave the couch, and then when I come back, the, they, and we've set up the door early on in the episode, so that way when we come back all the way around, the creative directors have taken my place and have respawned, so that way, so that, and then, hey, we set up that door earlier, I can leave off the door, like, I, you guys get a sense of the space. So there was a lot of thought. It was, it was, it was a fun one to ideate on, because, you know, it was an important one to ideate on, but it was, it was really cool. Um, last thing that I should probably call out about this one is if you submitted a, but hey, that's just a theory, a game theory. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry thank we you. couldn't use a Everyone. fraction of the ones that we got. Oops, like, there were so many. We got, how many Ash would you say that we got? A little over 7,000 videos. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say we got 7,000 videos and we, so th there's only so many that we could work in from a timing perspective, but just know that we, we've seen them, we appreciate them. You guys are amazing. Thank you for submitting them. We hope that even though you might not have been in the actual thing, like we have seen a, a lot, we watched a lot of them. Uh, we continue to kind of work our way through them because mm -hmm. it's just so many. Yeah. Um, but no, your, your work was appreciated. And I hope that that moment, you know, you're like, oh, I was a part of that, whether yeah. or not I was physically a part of it. Absolutely. You know? 100%. Also, um, thank you to whoever signed up uh, gtjustatheory at gmail.com on the Wendy's newsletter. Um, we've been getting so many coupons for nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, speaking of things that have gotten a lot of submissions, too. Yes. Um, thank you guys for signing up on the where's Matt Pat dot com. Uh, email. Yes, thank you so much um, for yeah for the, the little website. In case you don't know, there's a there's a fun little website called where's where's matpat dot com, and it. it's um it's basically just a landing page where you can sign up for the future for fun clues or um, announcements about what Matthew's going to be doing next. You've already seen some of the um what MatPat Extended Universe the uh. The multiverse of madness, if you will, um, <laughs> across the five yeah. additional endings for the for the episode, but there are a few other um, maybe alternate universe appearances that we're hoping to get in this year the as well. So I think it'll be fun to follow, and there's no spam or anything that comes from it. Um, it's just we're not signing you up for any Wendy's. Just an email list. Yeah, you will not end up getting signed up for Wendy's unless that's something that you're interested in. But you should do that yourself. Yeah, do that. And then. <laughs> Uh, and we'll just send like every once in a while updates, but we are um, going to be sending out, Matthew's going to be sending out a uh, hundred emails to individuals just to say hi yeah, I think and have a, a personalized response. I think, the, I think the goal is we've got a, s some things early this week that we have to get yes. through, but I think Wednesday or Thursday, we're sending out like just a mass email to everyone yes. being like, Hey, you're, you're part of this thing now. We're going Thank to you. We're going to try. There were so many emails that we have to figure out how to do that. So yeah. there were a lot. 
And it's, 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 a lot. it's like a couple hundred thousand at least. Yeah, it's a it's lot. A lot. It's, it's a lot. lot. So we're going to be working through the process of how you send out over 100,000 emails at the same time. So we're not quite sure about that, but we're going to figure it out. Yeah. And then we're going to send something and then there will be a few, um, relatively speaking, there'll be a hundred at least. Which is a lot Individualized normal, like, email a lot responses, individual emails, but yeah. But just so you know, Relative. there were so, 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 so many. You guys are amazing. Yeah. And I think it's going to be really fun. But just so you know, we got a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to I'm going to send out those hundred. And then, like I said, I'm yes. going to try to do a handful every single week just to, to keep it going, yeah. you know, and to, and to thank you guys. And but you can join the club and sign up here. Yeah. New clues are coming. <laughs> um, yeah. We're not going to spam you or anything. It's, it's literally like and we're going to refine you know what it is as far as like yes. how, how how those updates go and and what we're filling you in well, on it depends stuff. on what kind of clues yeah. you want to seed out right to different things mm -hmm. Down little, the line. little little map pat newsletter we'll or whatever but uh but yeah so that'll be fun thank you guys for for supporting yeah. that like i said we'll send out kind of like the mass hopefully initially I'd, I'd be curious to get your thoughts down in the comments right initially my thought was to ask you guys to to dial into a number like text one of the like, numbers like a text yeah. number because i've seen other youtubers do it and like before i never really saw value in it but and now it's like well i want a way to stay in touch with people that isn't like pushing them to a youtube channel that i might not use that requires me to make videos and you know is algorithm or, is is or kind of filtered by an algorithm people to be on on social media if they don't want to be yeah so like i've seen a lot of people, people to be on twitter or something like that if that's like maybe that's not <laughs> the place for you and that's fine <laughs> yeah i've seen a lot of people who are like i don't i don't want twitter anymore i don't want like all these other platforms which i get like i understand yeah and so i'm like well what's a neutral area and so i was gonna be like oh everyone's got a phone number but we one i'm like you know I, I, at first, I'm like, oh, they could just call this number, and then I have a phone full of what, however many phone numbers there are that I could just mass text. But There's you can't. No way. The the cap on mass texting is like fifty yeah, people, like it's fifty. Crazy. I'm like, there's no world. I'm and, like, no, we need several more zeros on that. <laughs> yeah, and so it was also one of those things where we looked into some of the the uh, companies that do this sort of. They're like, oh, we aggregate that data for you, which is, I'm like, okay, that's cool, but. It's very expensive, and they also have your data. So yeah. we were not quite sure that we wanted to go down that road. Yeah, we weren't. Yeah, we weren't sure about the. We wanted to go down a road, and then, like you said, expect like it was shocking. I was shocked. Like it was somewhere between it's like very three. Expensive. It was like somewhere between like three hundred and five hundred dollars a month just to maintain the list. Even and that was like a small list. Yeah, that, that wasn't a big list. That was a little list. Yeah, a, a like li little list of like a couple thousand. <laughs> yeah. And so we we're like we, we're gonna have more than we're that. Like, so uh -oh. if it's like five hundred dollars a month just to hold the list, that's crazy. And then to send a single text message to, you know, whatever subset, like a couple thousand people. It was like a thousand bucks, a text message. Yeah, it was a like, lot. I want to be able to like have the opportunity to do a little bit more than that for like, you know, that's, that's crazy. Like, I yeah, love you guys. Like a lot. But to send out like a thousand, you know, a thousand dollar, two thousand dollar text message. There's something else we could do with that money that would right. better serve Th this everything group. like yes. this group th the world <laughs> like literally anything else is probably better than me spending a thousand bucks on a text message yes. so so you know thank you guys uh the email you know keep keep an eye out so it doesn't end up in spam or whatever yeah. um but yeah no that was awesome so that's coming soon uh moving on yeah i was gonna say enough promotion I, I just want to catch to the there's a lot to talk about i want to catch people I know, up I know. uh bullet boy am i the only one who sees this resemblance scott scott, scott! Oh my god! <laughs> I do see the resemblance. Oh no! Oh, oh they have the same god. glasses and everything. <laughs> oh my gosh! They are so close to each. It's a that's, similar nose. That's crazy! Wow! Austin from this is Austin from the Science, by the yeah, way. In it's case, Austin. In case you don't know who this is. It's me, Austin. Hey, it's me, Austin. He fired tanks. We fired tanks together yeah. recently. They wow. It's Austin all grown up. Whose son was it again? <laughs> He's my son? Oh, that's nuts. <laughs> yeah, you are absolutely right to see that resemblance. I see it now. Correct. Uh, what do we got over here? This is the theory hosts as font from 8-9 uh, eight, nine, eight, nine, uh, Polar Hornets 15. <laughs> Papyrus. Papyrus? <laughs> pa pa no, not papyrus. Papyrus. <laughs> I don't even, I, I would not peg oh. Amy as a papyrus. Hold up. Okay, here, before we, okay. before we get to the fitting, Papa. Okay, okay. Gil Sands. <laughs> is this just Sands and Papyrus? Like, you were just looking right? for an opportunity Come to do on. Sands and Papyrus. I like that. I appreciate it's not Comic Sans. Times New Roman. Oh, this is accurate. <laughs> I, I was going to say, that might be spot on. That's, that's accurate for Leon Film Theory. And then 
uh, Santi impact. <laughs> the only other one I would have gone with is just straight wing dings. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but I think this is a good choice. I think this is a, I think this is a very fair choice. Yeah, these two, these defi two, these two definitely it. nail it. Uh, pap what is a good font for Amy? Whew. I don't know if she's Papteris. No. Certainly not Papteris. Right, I don't think no, she's a Papteris. Pap I, like, I like using, the, I, I, I like the mm. Papteris font for sure. Let's see, what do we, what's a spooky font? <laughs> spooky fonts. Let's uh, here. You guys brainstorm Papteris. I agree with the. I agree with the idea that Tom is a sans serif font. Serifs are the little like you know the, these little doodads yes. on the edges of the letters that kind of like make it like a little extra fancy and whatever. So sans serif, I think is exactly right. You know, mm. with with Tom. So sans something <laughs> kills this. This is maybe a, a bit generic for Tom. Do you think, uh, do you think Amy could be a Charlemagne? Ooh, Charlemagne's pretty It's a good. little bit, I don't want to say this in a, in a way that sounds weird, but it's a, it's a font that gets, it looks pretty normal, but it's like slightly Harry Potter. Just like a tiny, tiny, tiny Charlemagne bit. font. Here, let's, we'll, let, let's get up. Yeah. Does that make, does that? It's a pretty good font. I, I mean, it's a nice, it's a really nice font. It's very, it's strong. It's like, yeah. it, but it's got a little bit of personality right. that, in there. That, and yeah, so, that's, that's the, the, the strength is what's, papyrus is a little bit like yeah. waist-like or like, you know, woo, it's a little, it, again, it's like papery, right? And I think this goes slightly gothic also. It's, it's, just, it's, a, it's a modern gothic, which I like. It's yes. like, it's, it's thicker, it's more solid. It has, like you said, that kind of spooky feel to it but, but not, not in like overt. an, not overtly yeah and it's gothic but not over overtly i like that yeah. i might i might pick that Charlemagne. I don't know. do you have any other thoughts so i found one it's called the old charlotte font Ooh. this looks like the font that was used on taylor swift's reputation oh. which feels apt this guy mm. yeah the See? lowercase ones especially lowercase I think. low yeah i think lowercase old charlotte is my pick Ooh. Ooh. this one feels too I see this and I feel a little bit old lady about it. I don't know if it's old lady. I feel like it's... Because I feel like someone embroiders this. It's <laughs> <laughs> It's an embroidery font. This one is, I feel like, skewing so heavily in the, like... Again, the goth... Amy has that, like, gothic, dark, witch vibe to her, but it's not all of her. I feel like this is, like, dialed up a little bit too much. Try one more. Okay. The Hallowed Grounds font. Ooh. This is fun. It's subdued. This is fun. What's my font, guys? I know I said before I was Comic Sans. That's pretty Where good. It's got yeah. like a little embellishment. That's pretty good. With some of the capital letters and stuff, but not. That's but cool. again, it's not. These are good fonts. In your face. I like these fonts. I know. Just these in general. Really these, these are solid fonts. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, we, so we have a, a couple of good ones for, um, for Amy. What about. Good old Gil Sands. Let's see. I do find one for Tom. <laughs> That's like glorified Ariel. <laughs> Gil Sands? Yeah. It's like a slightly thicker Ariel. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Cool Sans Serif fonts is what I would let's let's look up and get a sense. Because I'm trying to come up with something off the top of my head and let's see. These are just random sans serif. Right, how about um I like the idea of Tom being Alabama just because just because He's British, and the idea of like him being like an, a very American sans serif font, Alabama. I can't, I can't zoom in. What if Tom was Ooh, New A, hmm. New A Montreal? I like that they're all like related to locations. That's funny. Brooklyn, Brooklyn's kind of fun. It's hard to it's hard to peg Tom as a font. Ooh, I like Tokyo here. I like this one. What do I like about it for Tom? Mm, I think that portrays Tom as a little bit empty. Ooh, which I don't, I don't that's like. Fair. No, no, you're, I that's don't think call. that works for him. Um, I kind of like Monopoly on there for Tom. Like, it seems very polished. It's very... Where? Monopoly, um, it's right under one. Tokyo. Oh! But very open and like circular and fun. Yeah, Because like Tom's that. got that bubble to him. That is true. It right? has, yeah, it has, that, that, I think that's a good one. It, it is clean. It is professional and polished, yeah, but with a little sense of like levity to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like, yeah, that's. I yeah. think that's fair. Like the O's take up a little bit more space, and it's like, oh, you know, like ooh, ooh. you know, when when given the chance, he opens up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. 
What were you going to say, Steph? Oh, Did no, I, I had the same ones pulled up as you. Uh, I'm trying to think. I might have to look a little bit more. Yeah. I think Monopoly. This is a fun game, though. This is a fun game. This is really <laughs> you fun. You assign fonts to everyone. Right? What's your font, Ash? Do you have a font? <sighs> Just off the top of your head. You strike me as the type of person who might have yourself a font all in, in preparation of this. I, you know, mm. I feel like in my soul, I'm a Comic Sans, but I want to say I'm Corey or New. Ooh, that's a, oh, that's a very dignified choice. So I think Thank everyone you. knows what Comic Sans looks like. Uh, is it one R? Yeah. Warrior. Because this is like mm -hmm. my little like script writing yeah. font. So yeah. I feel this very is tight. This is this classic is, typewriter. This is Ash the Playwright, I feel like. This is Ash the Playwright. A courier is actually a good call out because it's got the writerly element to it, but it's got the roundedness mm -hmm. of... It's, it's of a friendly. Comic Sans. Yeah. It's, it's friend Because you're not Comic Sans. Like, oh, I, thank you. you, you give thank you. Your, your persona, especially when you first joined us, like when you were first behind the microphone, you were like a Comic Sans. Like you were chaotic in the way that like Comic Sans is choosing violence, right? Right, yes. But you, you as a person, and the more that I've gotten to know you and the more that you've kind of like settled into your role here, you are not that. Thank mm -hmm. like, you. I appreciate that more than you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you, you, you take things very seriously. You take great pride in it. Oh, yeah. But still with that sense of levity and fun. And actually, I think this is... A, a, without I, I could look for probably something that's even better, but yeah. like this is a really a good, good distillation of it, where it's like professional, but like fun. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I also think this says I wear warm autumnal colors as well. To be honest, <laughs> thank this you. This is like I'm. I have a very nice coffee and a typewriter, and I'm just like living my best autumnal dream. <laughs> this is the best day of my life, yeah. honestly. Thank you. <laughs> this is great. This is, a, this is a really fun game. I, I want to continue doing just fonts for everyone in my life. Uh, what do we got here? This is a lol, lolo, lolography, zero, zero, re-upload for me Monday. Everyone crying over Matt leaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Oops. It's like, right? And that's the, I, I, like, that is the weird element of all of this. Yeah. Is when you have five channels, which is disgusting. It's a lot of channels. That's so many. Like, people are like, wow, he's everywhere. And it's like, yes, yes, I am. He's there literally so many. Psychic friend, friend, friend. There are so, yeah, he's here, he's there, he's everywhere. He's right here. Um, I am literally everywhere. And so the idea of like, he's still, like, he's d done all these send offs and this and that, and each channel is. Because you have to respect the fact that every channel needs its own send-off because each channel has its own individual audience. Yes, there's carryover and there's overlap, but there's still individual audiences for each one. And so you have to send each of those off. And then it's like, oh, but GT Live is still here and I'm still hanging out, which is fun. So we're, we're chillaxing. But yeah, this is very accurate, actually. What's this? Uh, fear Lights. Fear Light 56. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Don't don't be a oh, no. pushover. <laughs> yeah, complete the sentence. <laughs> don't be a pushover. <laughs> oh, it's too good. I mean, you know, you gotta send people off with. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! 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 With a positive message. <laughs> I mean, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that could fit there accurately. Oh, that's funny. Oh, don't be a pustule. So don't be a pustule. Don't be a push pop. Yeah, don't be a push pop. Yeah, I don't know what everyone's laughing about so much. Fine. Don't be a cat. Uh, Mighty Quad, thanks for watching. Oh, this is cute. Aww. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, good. Everyone's got their avatars already. Yeah, yeah look at me. Hey! hey! That's adorable. Oh, I love this. See, new fan art I made in honor of MatPat's Final Theory. I do, oh, I do like nice. it. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, we're in the green. Nice. This is, a good, this is a good merch item right here. I like that. Right? Also, cool. also good merch item. Yeah. Some nice long gloves. Do that. We'll do it in the fashion show. We'll throw it in. What is this? Oh, no. I saw this one. I commented oh. this one. Yep. This is, this is the worst timeline. I've been expecting you. Ah! Come, we're to discuss. I can't. <laughs> Worst timelines look a good way to describe <laughs> it. <laughs> I can't. Next to the timeline where everything is on fire, that this there's this one. This is the chaos ending. <laughs> yeah. This the is real, like the real we chaos filmed ending. the office on fire and Dan running around shirtless with his broadsword or whatever. Yeah. But this this is the real chaos ending.
This is the or this is the real meme ending. I can't, man. I can't. <laughs> I've been expecting you. <laughs> voice even sounds like Ban Ban. Uh, I, I hate I, it. I hate it. Right? I, I hate right? it. Right? I like hear that voice and I'm like, what's Ban Ban's voice? Because Ban Ban's voice is not far it's off not from that. that. dissimilar. Yeah. Oh, that is not okay. Oh, that is not okay. Here, can I find Ban Ban voice? Voice lines. We'll see. Oh. It's slightly, it has slightly more oh, of an thank accent. thank God. I'm so glad you're here. I thought this was the end. I was looking around and walked into the security room. <laughs> you need a little bit more of an accent on more, Scott, and that's, that's it. Not, that's not that bad. <laughs> oh I hate God. this so I'm much. just like, oh, I've been expecting you. This, is, this was fast, too. Like, shout outs to whoever did this. I don't know if it was GT Live who actually did this, or whether it was an edit that someone created or whatever, like, in the moment. But, like, they did this so fast. <laughs> And it's really well done. Oh, yeah. In the most unnerving way possible. I look forward to seeing just a whole montage of me open, like, doors being opened to who knows what moving forward. I think that's going to be great. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, who's this? It's thinking about it. We'll come. Oh, oh no. We've overloaded too much. Too much. Too many memes. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not Friday. Was I going to post it? Because that's just the theory. Oh, there we go. Aww. Eat my ice cream off into the distance. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's accurate. Right? Hopefully. Me as a robot. Nice. I mean, I've always yeah. wanted to... I've always, and booping. I've always wanted to open an ice cream shop. Fun story. That line comes from... what? Because I've seen a lot of people like that line a the, lot. You're just beeping a robot. And, you got gears in your head. Beeping, beeping and There's boop. gears beeping and booping beeping in your and head. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a line that we tell Ollie when we're working. <laughs> so, true. so when he's off doing That's something an else, reference. and he really wants to spend time with us, um, but he has to go to school or you know whatever it is, and we'll tell him like, "Oh, bud, we're just we're just working all day," and we'll be like, "We're just sitting at our computer, typing stuff, beeping and booping. We're just yeah. here beeping, and, you know, we're just here booping, booping, boop, 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 beep, 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 beep." And it caught on that now he just said, we're like, oh, but I'm, you know, you got to go to school today. We'll just, we're just going to be at work. You're not going to miss anything fun. He's just like, will you just be beeping and booping? And he's like, we're just going to be <laughs> beeping and booping. We do. We, yes. do. we just beep and boop all day. We're just going to be beeping and booping. Yeah, writing an email is also known as beeping and beeping booping. Beeping and booping. And so, so yeah, in that moment when I'm like, I'm the robot, you're beeping and booping. Yeah, that's a, that's that was a, where that came that's from. That's Ollie reference. <laughs> deep cut. <laughs> deep cut. Ollie reference. Right. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, Lisa. that's nice. Oh, I love this. Oh, and they ironed your jacket. That needed it. <laughs> right? We, we, we were talking about doing this as like a thumbnail, but the idea of like jackets just don't fall. Like yeah. it's, it's tough to make them fall in a way that makes right? them and look people nice. Would be like, this is great is though. <laughs> this is actually better than anything we, that we created. Oh, yeah. Before. We're like, take shots of it. It's like, no, it didn't work. Wow. They even got the, uh, the accurate hanger too. Well done. Oh, yeah. It's accurate. Very close. Nice. That's amazing. I love it. Right? That's sad. Goodbye, red jacket. I like in the real ending, I immediately put it back on because I was cold. <laughs> or, yes. or because, actually, it's not because I was cold. It was because not wearing a jacket made me feel uncomfortable. I'm like, oh, I'm just in this, like, black, like, shirt. I'm like, nude. Like, I wore that outfit. I had to, like, recreate that seven times for all the different, like, days that we were shooting. It was at Scott's. Yes. It was you here. It so many times. It was when we shot the rest of the circle. It was for all the endings. By the end, we were digging those things out of the bottom of the hamper. Oh, I'm yeah. No, I... Be honest. I like, don't some know. Some of those endings were filmed with very stinky clothes at that uh, point. Yeah, I don't know if they got washed at any point during that period <laughs> of time. Actually, but I you do. You can't break the continuity. No, I didn't. No, right. We couldn't break that. I had to get my hair cut so many times yes. to, re to try and approximate the same. And yep. we filmed the Scott thing a week after I got my hair cut. So I, in my calendar, I had to like, every time I knew there was a shoot up, I'm like, okay, one week prior, get the haircut. One week prior, get the haircut from the same person. Yeah. It was like three, it was like three haircuts in a row. Yeah. Three or four. Yeah. Yeah. But um, your hair has looked so nice for the last two months. It's I know. been great. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll prioritize doing that. But, uh. It was also, I, it, we did, it did get washed once. It got washed before the final ring shoot, yeah. which was the final, like, all the way, the rest, the kind of, like, the, the script part. And it was fresh out of the washer because cause we're like, oh, no, we, we really should wash this. And so we washed it, but we didn't bed budget enough time to actually dry it, so it was wet. Because it's wool, so you're not supposed to put it in the yeah, dryer, no. so it just had to hang dry, and so it was just real damp. It was damp. To put it on. So, I was, so that whole, like, last time was just so, damp. So the filming either took ah. all of those places where you see Matthew in that outfit, it's either dirty, 
or wet. Yeah. <laughs> stanky. <laughs> or, real, or, yeah, or stinky. Re, I mean, it was real yeah. stanky by the end. It's so funny. I, I actually had to take Stephanie's hair dryer. Yes. And, like, blow out the rest of it just to kind of, like, make it palatable to put on my body. Oh, cried at the sixth ending. Can't believe you didn't cry during Titanic. The men have feelings. I love always. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I cried to, again. That was another one where I'm hyper hyperventilating oh, down yeah. there in the theater. What do we got here? Oh, are you, look, are you looking up the... What? Yeah, so um, welcome to my Twitter. Um, I wanted to pull up the Scott Cawthon trending page because some of these edits are an absolute gold mine. It's just me or Scott Cawthon dressed as... Right? It is funny how... <laughs> Scott, like the final, it's like, oh, that guy. Oh, that's amazing. On set for my own. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this yep. is accurate. Uh huh. Right? I, oh, he looked great when he showed up. I, we didn't ask him to wear that anything in particular. I was a little bit worried that people wouldn't recognize Scott outside of gray video game t-shirt yeah and so you know he cleaned up real nice uh-huh. yes it's really interesting actually if you look at these two pictures they really in a lot of ways don't look like the same person i can't tell for instance that scott's eyes are blue in the left photo in the right photo they're piercingly blue they're he has lovely eyes right but in the left one they weird. look brown they, they do maybe it's not the same guy i this whole time maybe he's We've a just robot. been like the, no see, he has a brother or something <laughs> And with the glasses, it changes. Yeah, it changes it, a lot. It of does. It, 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 again, it shows how style it, it really affects It changes the things. proportion of his nose, the whole thing. No, it's fascinating. Yeah. Style, man. Scott Cawthon reading Matt Pat the official. <laughs> <laughs> it's two pages. That's. <laughs> I love it. He's like, and then, and then the bite of eighty-seven happened. I oh, this is adorable. It. Oh, and he gives me a little gentle kiss. Too. Right. I feel like this is accurate. Yep. Oh, it's amazing. What? Is, what? If he was evil, eat my crap. What is this? I don't know. This is, that this, was just on there. Yeah, that keep is, going. That is no, traumatic. Keep, keep Uncommented on. on. Uh, seeing Scott Cawthon in motion is like finding actual video evidence of me. <laughs> I, yeah, the, the I did not understand what I was seeing when I first saw the reactions to this, where it was like, Scott, move. Did Scott move? Scott, move. At first, I was like, the, like there was a sp- split second in my brain where they were like, do they mean they've been tracking his location and they think he's in a different place? Like he moved to a new house? And then I was like, oh, 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 no, wait, they're talking about, they're talking about the picture. Mm-hmm. It was so confusing. Right, it, 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 I, it didn't fully s- s- resonate with me. I, I, I was going to say this earlier, but then we kind of broke off into like, Scott's great. Um, it didn't fully resonate with me until seeing the internet's reaction. I'm like, oh, I guess this is the first time that people have seen Scott move. Because... I just assume that, like, oh, there's, a, there are a hand, not many, but there's a handful of pictures of him out there. He put himself in a game at one point. Like, we've seen cartoons of him in some of the games. He had the movie come out, so I would assume, like, maybe at some point he was present there somewhere, maybe, I don't know. But, like, yeah, to be like, oh, this is actually him moving. I'm like, oh, I guess we do have the first found footage of him. I'm also, I also hope that this person is all right and that they've rehydrated because I'm concerned about the <laughs> right. gallons that have come out of their anus right. <laughs> at this point. I'm very concerned about their health. Uh, feels, oh, wait, 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 oh, I feels, saw this one. I saw this feel one. feel like weekend. it was a bit inappropriate. I this, this guy, dude, love this, this one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see this. Oh. <laughs> That's incredible. Also, the bleeding black eyes. What do you think this is? Film theory? That's a film theory thing. Scott Cawthon's a real person. Come on. We have much to discuss. Amazing. It's a beautiful thing. Duke energy. Great. Add. <laughs> what? Hold up. Hold oh, up. okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Super Smash Bros. Oh, this is him when he was, like, early, like, indie game developer. This is, like, the iconic one that everyone knew for a long time. This was after FNAF, and this was at the, the Horror Nights, I believe. Yeah. I have no idea where this one came. That's not Scott. This is not Scott, right? Is the, is, this, is, this is, is, what this, is this? Yeah. Is that the point, though? I was because I've never played. I've never played Smash on a 3DS. Is it like the, do the characters just look like, completely abnormal? It's like the generic version, or like yeah, the, like ported. Exactly. This is, this is the ported Scott. <laughs> that was 
when I when I look at this, I'm like, it, was there something about the 3DS version something. of Smash that was like that made all the characters look com like completely different people or characters? Something, this is the like lost in translation, like redubbed yes. Scott Coffin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is chaotic. Yeah, he's chosen chaos, which is fair because the Wii U version, people are like, oh, they're slipping involved and stuff. So it's like, yeah, whatever. We're <laughs> Super Smash Brothers. This actually is very. This is actually a very accurate timeline. Yes. I feel like like we're professional. We're put together. This is a very solid game. This actually, I, I would I would challenge Brawl maybe. Oh no, where's Melee? Oh no, Melee. Melee's this is the best version of it. This is like hey, rudimentary like figuring itself out, but solid. Melee is like yes, I am like there and I'm with it and I'm gonna deliver you a quality gaming experience. Brawl, you're like yeah, a little bit looser, a little bit more casual. Like oh, you know, we're having yeah. fun with the bros. This is like this is not the game that you expected. <laughs> it's close. It looks kind of like the game you expected, but, but not, not really. Quite. It's like oh, we're, we're the Wii U, whatever. No one plays this system anyway. And then, yeah, this is the, the best version, Scott. Yes. Got best version, Scott. Yes. DLC. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. That is a great meme. Oh, man, has anyone done this? Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing with my... <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, get out of here. Just slammed That should have been the it. reaction, honestly. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, man, final FNAF joke. And he's like, yeah, look at me, I'm here. That's professional attire. Why does Scott call them feel like that? Because I've ascended. For a while, we thought about calling it the ascension ending. It's true. The Scott Cawthon looks different every time. Phenomenon strikes. He does. He's, right? He evolved. Just like the characters. Maybe that's where Scott got it. You know, there's like Withered Freddy, you know, uh, Nightmare Freddy, you know, Phantom Freddy, whatever. Same thing. Scott just looks different every single time. You Do know? you think we got Glamrock Scott? We got Glamrock Scott. Yeah. Glamrock Def Scott. Oh, definitely. Oh, this is definitely Glamrock Scott. This looks Scott. like a professional <laughs> headshot. You right? take out that banister in the background. Yeah, and you're great all set. lighting on our part. Like yeah. great lighting, great shot. Mm -hmm. Real, real good. Thank you. Oh, that's so. <laughs> just <laughs> rather in the phrase suit. Yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> that's Gordon Freeman. Oh, G Matt. <gasps> oh, this is great. These are so fun. These are adorable. I love these. There is um one that I really want y'all to watch. Yeah, I which put it that? in my. Oh my. Oh, everyone's reaction. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome! Right? They, they should put that in theaters. Watch Amazing. Eat your heart out, Oppenheimer. Like, right? What, what is it? They should teach this in film school or whatever. Like, that was the whole meme when Game of Thrones had the final shot yes. and like, the dragon wings were behind Daenerys or whatever. And it's like, they should show that in film school. Like, our, our video, they should show that in <laughs> film school. You know, we were, we were released a little bit too late for Oscars contention this year, That's but true. next year. For for Win. your cons for your consideration, internet, for your streamy award best Mad editing Pat's goes final to game theory. yeah, there it is. What are we gonna say? There's one that we definitely should see because I know we're starting to run long. Yeah, um, I mean, all these memes are so good. Though. Yeah, I, I saw that one. Amazing. I saw that one this weekend too. It's pretty funny. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Scott caught the cameo coming to take him away. See, oh, Scott, this, it was Johnny Blocks. Good. Scott Cawthon stars, stars in Matt Pat's Love it. <laughs> I just hand off the entire final episode to Scott Cawthon. Yep. That would be amazing. 100%. Matt Pat's last video. Yep. Reaction. <laughs> <laughs> that was a flat. really good one. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Cawthon, all bosses plus guys. <laughs> the secret ending. Yep, that's Scott it. Scott Cawthon, that's secret it. ending. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love it. Jump, look, jumped out. John, John Andrew, YouTube. Jumped out of my chair, just like, just like here, just like this. It, it went that was just it. like that. This is actual. This is actual real footage of John YouTube, right there. This is this, little. Did you know John YouTube is that? Oh, that's so funny. Matt Pat came in cameo. <laughs> just appeared in people's games. That's amazing. I love it. Oh my gosh, they've already photoshopped him out. Put He's on pride flags now. <laughs> good. good for him. Yeah. Good, good for Scott. Yeah, Scott. Oh, that's incredible. We have a different model design. <laughs> well, yeah. You got to get the U2's figurine. Exactly. You got to put that on some merch. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh they're making the Scott Cawthon oh, thirst no. traps. On no. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. this, sorry Scott. this poor man. I'm I, sorry. I don't know if he knew <laughs> no, what he was about. No. I don't. <laughs> it's like with like three oh. seconds. 
seconds of footage. I love that too. The fact that it's a thirst trap with three seconds of footage and to just extend it slightly. Right? It's like, let's flip it. <laughs> I love that. Uh, do you have anything I should look up or what's up? Yes. So if you hit the um the circle with the three dots in it, Circle with the three dots, yes. Um, no, the one on the left, uh, the left column. Oh, oh. this one, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, bookmarks. Bookmarks, okay, yes. Um, I think you go down to the bottom. Okay, we saw that. I saw this one. I saw this one. Almost ten years. This one. Probably not this one. Is it? This is Super Mario Brothers One fan. No. <laughs> 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 that's it! That's the one. Straight out! So, <laughs> that's it! That's what I, I mean, to be honest, I think that's the, there. And maybe at some point we should release like a blooper tape of it or whatever too. Because there were those ones where, there we just, like, ones where we just shut the door back on it because <laughs> the tape didn't work or whatever. And so there were ones where it's like he opens the door and just shuts it. Yeah, that, it's really <laughs> good. Which is this, which I feel like is probably the accurate yeah. thing that would have happened here. Oh, that is so funny. I love that. That's great. This is this is wonderful. This was this was what a hoot. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wait, that pet was only one video of six. <laughs> oh, missed it's opportunity. Much. What? It'll be your forever regret. I, I don't. Yeah, you know. Oh, ah. but that means that means that Tom will make the sixty ninth FNAF theory. Good for him. I'm I, so happy for him. I, right? You know what? Good Way to him. go. Yeah, Way I'm, to go, I'm happy for him. Right, we got, we, get, we hit so many other, like, correct ones, like the, the whole, like, 666 uh, <laughs> video is the goodbye video and stuff. Like, yeah. we, we hit a couple of those in there. We're like, yeah, that feel good. That felt good. That, like, that worked out timing-wise. That worked out timing-wise. So, oh, that's fun. That's great. Thanks, guys. This is, <laughs> leave me alone, Dad. <laughs> it was SpongeBob. New Theory's Fire. Leave me alone, Dad. Uh, that seems like something <laughs> we would do. Happy retirement, guys. Oh, that's Thanks. so nice. Oh. This is awesome. Anyway, so there is plenty more fun. You don't look very happy about your retirement, but that's fine. But I'm, you're I'm, just I'm very thoughtful. focused on I'm very it. focused on that's it. That's great. I, no, I, it's, I, it's wonderful. I got, it's I got, wonderful. I got, I got. Do we have information about restocking the red signature? T-bone, why are you calling a T-bone? Yeah. <laughs> Omega Scott. I right? love it. Oh, my gosh. This is so fun. Guys, this has been... Oh, jeez. Check out a creator's first videos. Yep. Those are, my, those are my those my old audition good. videos. There yeah. you go. Or yeah. my old here's things me singing stuff. Where's the MatPat website we showed you? It's where's MatPat.com. Scott, yep, that's him. When I remains, yep. Okay, cool. Oh, these are great. And there's so many more. There were so many videos. There were so many reaction videos. There were so many commemorative videos. YouTube did their thing. Like across the board. Thank you guys. This oh my is, gosh. This is uh, who's ready for Inside Out too. A lot of thank you notes and heartfelt messages to uh, write to write this week. Yeah, so no, guys, thank you for helping. I mean, across the last thirteen years, but thank you for making this weekend so special for us. Thank you for making the last ten weeks so special for us. And there's, I, there's nothing that we would change about it. Like, there's honestly, nothing that could have gone better. Yeah. And I'm so so proud. I'm so proud of you. Proud um, of but us. I'm so proud, proud of, of like I'm proud of the whole like, team. The whole yeah. team came together. Like I, I and it's an un, it was an unimaginable effort to put all of those videos together for this weekend. People, the entire editing team, every single person working. I mean, just around the clock. Yeah. Eight editors working like basically in shifts, just 24 hours a day, like to get those yeah. done. Oh my it's gosh! Speaking of, we, we didn't even talk about favorite endings. Did you have a real quick? Favorite oh. ending, because because I'm thinking of, I think we should probably release like a ending compilation. Yeah, we're gonna do it because everybody else is doing it. It's a cool thing to do. <laughs> we should probably have that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What favorite ending? Because I in my I've been reading people's reactions to like what was your favorite ending, and everyone's like the horror ending was too scary. It was no I, that one I think was too. Oh, scary. Here, oh, here it is. Yeah. What's everyone's favorite ending? This by uh, Joe. Wa oh, Joe was taken. Lore Keeper, the, the, which is, that one was the most like, you know, it, that one felt like the biggest, which is why it ended up being there, because it had Scott, it felt like satisfying for like the whole FNAF lore, like, ah, oh, it's driving me nuts all these years, it felt the most conclusive yeah. for like the story of the channel, right? And then the real ending, which if you haven't seen it, is, is like behind the scenes footage of the final shoot. Uh, everyone having a good time, and then like a final message from me, which is like that one is the real and conclusive ending because you know it's it's the send off of me as a, a person, you know, and I think that that maybe not as flashy 
and as memeable as as Scott opening the door to me and it being Ban Ban or whatever. Like, <laughs> I think that was the right call, but to me, a, you know, real ending. But all these other ones, what, what do you think, Ash? I don't know. Insanity. I'm I'm kind of split between meme and insanity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah, meme ending? I, yeah, yeah, Nancat. And of course, of course yes. you like the meme it's ending. Really I, it's With just such the, a fun compilation appearing. of everything. <laughs> the, Pope, the fact that, the, so originally the Pope was just sitting on, on Music Man, but having him rise yeah. up was just... Yeah, Jerrica did an incredible job with that one, but I'm like, here's the thing. We don't want to spoil the joke. Yeah. Like, the joke has to build, and then it can kind of sustain from that point forward. But, like, you have to at least build it with, like, oh, ha, it's Matt Pat on Music Man. But I'm like, then you drop in Sans and Ness. And then the big reveal is like, and the Pope's there too, because why not? So, you know, and so that, I thought that was great. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so me, yeah, meme and insanity. What about you, Steph? Do you have a favorite? Um, I think the, the insanity ending and the real ending have it yeah. for me. Ending one feels right. Ending one feels rewarding. Yeah. Ending two, chaos. Yes. Where the office is burning. That's most funny. <laughs> Man! This is uh, the boy, the lore. This is me, but I'm open. And he thought, the horror, I feel like the horror ending just traumatized no, everyone. Oh, yeah, people were, like, so scared. Which, to be fair, you know, uh, that is all credit to Sedge, who is, is probably of all the editors, the one who understands, like, the stylistic editing and, and really loves to dig into, like, oh, it's, it's editing of this time period. It's editing of this style. You know, he loves to really pick apart like the tropes and mechanisms that work in t in t to create a, s a full scene, right? And set things in motion. So when, when we're like, here's the list of endings, who, what editors are working on which one, we're all like, that's Sedge, yeah. immediate Sedge. Um, and did such a great job. And like the, the, the back and forth that we had to kind of like amp out the scares and like pace out the scares and stuff was so much fun and so good. Yeah. That's actually him. Uh, he's the newscaster in that one, in case you didn't know the silhouette of like, the, the Australian newscaster, that's actually Sedge, um, who did it. I like all the editors kind of inserted themselves into all the yeah. endings. Um, and then six, yeah, six. I think one and six are my favorite, but the reason why, you know, we wanted the other ones in there is because, like, we wanted to encompass everything. So. Oh, yeah, they were all, and they all have, like, favorite things about them. Right, oh, 100%. Yeah, like, I think they're all really good. I'm really happy with them, yeah. but, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do the, the Matt Pat all endings. Or something like yeah. a and, yeah. and cut scenes, secret secret boss. No yeah. damage. Yeah, yeah, no damage. No damage. <laughs> right, you need the no damage in there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, guys, thank you again for everything. Thanks for celebrating with us. And thanks for hanging out with me on the couch. Still wanting to hang out with me on the couch, even though I'm no longer, you know, uh, game theorist Matt Pat anymore. I'm just Matt Pat. Normal I'll, I'll hang out with you. Nor normal, normal guy on couch Matt Pat. Yeah, will you hang out with me? Yeah, I will. Cool, thanks. Thank you, friend. Oh, what a nice straight up and down handshake. Thank you. Ash, you want to hang out with me a little bit longer? Yeah, all right. Cool. <sighs> Sounds good. You want to hang out with me a little bit longer? Awesome. We'll always <laughs> GT in that live. Maybe they said no. I know. Like, <laughs> actually, <laughs> after this one, I think I'm done. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for joining me on that journey. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> for those of you who choose to remain to stay, that's your choice. Thanks, thanks for hanging out. It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for everything over the last 13 years. And I look forward to this new era in my GT life. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. That was good. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I've been doing it for a while. So anyway, <laughs> that's it for today. And remember, my friends, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!